Spread the word, not the germs. Hi guys, welcome to the third episode of Creative Corner. Today we are gonna be using a whiteboard and a piece of paper to create this sand castle. If you have a whiteboard, um, I like to use a whiteboard because you can do the same activity over and over. But if you don't, you can of course do this on paper. So first things first, you need a whiteboard and some markers. You can always do it in black and white, but I have some colors. First thing I tell my kids is we're gonna make that big sand castle, um, like hill, and I say a rainbow line. So make sure it goes from this corner to this corner. All right, there's our rainbow line. Then next, I usually tell my kids we need a mommy square and a baby square. So obviously the baby square goes up top. And I try to make the um, thing in the middle. Sometimes this is hard with kindergarten. I usually have some tracers on the table for them. It makes them a little bit more confident. Um, so if your kid is, you know, thinks they can't draw, just cut out a square and they can trace it. Then on the side, I tell them really big, tall brothers and sisters. So one really tall sister, one really tall brother. All right. Now, at this point is when I will encourage the kids to look at my second sheet. And they usually have this on their tables. It shows um, different ideas of what they can add to their castle to make it unique. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video while I add some details. All right, and there you have it. There's my sand castle. Um, in my first picture, I added some water behind so it looked like my castle was huge. You wanna go ahead and do that. You can change the view of your picture by adding some water in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up again and color it in, so I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and create our sandcastle on paper instead of the whiteboard. And um, again, I'm gonna speed up this process. You guys already heard how we do it. I just wanna show you the difference of how it will actually come out. So at this point, um, my kids usually hate this step, but it turns out better in the end. You're gonna go ahead and get a black Sharpie and trace over all the pencil lines you just did. All right, be right back. There you go, so Sharpie is done. Um, some of my students are a little bit perfectionist sometimes, um, you know, you are, and they like to erase the pencil lines. Um, I recommend waiting at least a couple minutes before you do that so the Sharpie doesn't smudge on you, but you can go in there and erase those um, pencil lines. I personally just don't care, but some people like to erase that and that's fine. You can go ahead and do that before you color. All right, so now we're ready for coloring. Um, on my original picture, I did add glitter. I know some of you have already seen that. That is at the end. Don't add glitter until you're done, done, done coloring. All right, so I'll meet you back in a couple minutes when I'm done coloring. And there you go, time for the best part is to add the glitter. So I would recommend using um, a stick. A lot of people think that you need to use liquid glue for glitter, I prefer this, it's less messy. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the areas, avoid Mr. Krabby there, avoid Mr. Beach Ball there, and please get your parents' permission before you start opening glitter. And then there you go.
And there you have it. <laughs> Here's your sandcastle um, with a little crabby friend. Get dressed up like you're going to the beach and make some art since we can't go to the beach. All right, see you next time. Peace out. Spread the word, not the germs. <laughs>